Anthony from Hackersnet here, and today we're looking at uh, Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Optimus Primal and Rat Trap. Now, Primal is, and I'm using this lately, a Voyager size figure, and Rat Trap is what is formerly called Legends, now core class figures, and I think the transition for the name was to prevent confusion with um, Legends series and other Hasbro properties than which they have licensed. So, as you can see, there is a notable size difference. It looks comparable to what you saw if you watched the Beast Wars uh, cartoon back in the 90s. Now, the one thing that I like is how detailed these two are. Even for this rat trap size, it is, frankly, very impressive. Um, another thing I enjoy is larger figures in, in the War for Cybertron toy line uh, no longer are in blisters. Because uh, blisters are painting the character out of. Rat trap wasn't too bad. I'm still surprised Studio Series is using them. Uh, so what they've done instead is they have um, strung them to cardboard. So let's put these two guys out of the way and we'll take a look at their boxes. So looking at Rat Trap's box, it is it's just a simple blister. And inside is uh, plastic and the instructions and the don't hurt yourself sheet very simple he's a small figure so you know you don't need a good fancy about it and then on the back it shows you his two forms now i thought i would like the green color that they use but frankly it doesn't work for the instructions i preferred the light blue that they used for the uh, war for cybertron earthrise series it just made it easier to use. i i if you read the instructions and i you know what since i'm doing this i'll show you real quick it it isn't as easy to read as you might think because the green is just there it's like a lot of green and it doesn't really make it easy to tell things apart earthrise really had a nice blue color that i think they should use for everything but uh i had a heck of a time going okay what piece is what because it's just this green just bleeds into everything but um, that's just my nitpick on the color choices for these series that they've been doing. So we'll put this back over here. And so here is the, the Optimus Primal box. Rather straightforward. It has the Kingdom side on it. Golden disc. It has his two forms. And of course a nice... Uh, picture on the side here that continues on to the front. Maximal's icon on the top. And uh, let's, let's take a look what's inside. Now, as I mentioned before, they stopped using blisters. So it does make the packaging a lot easier to get the character out of. So here is the don't hurt yourself paper. And and then here's the instructions. And then you get with everyone a random golden disc. It happens to be Black Arachnia. I wish they were character specific. So you don't I, I the purpose of trading card games having multiple different cards in a pack that is just randomized so you're forced to buy more packs. Doing this for a toy line, very few people are going to want to buy more than anything that's army building. So, like, uh, maybe somebody will buy a bunch of Scourges. But, I mean, assuming it was in Kingdom, I think Cyclone is still in the Kingdom. Uh, but they're not going to go buy a whole lot of, you know, Primals and Rat Traps. So here's what the box looks like. This is where the card was in. And, uh, as you can tell, it's just a bunch of little holes. This is where they put the product. Or, you know, attach it to the cardboard. I like that. This actually makes up a nice little standy here, but this thing is a pain in the butt to get back in the box. So now we figures. I'm going to give you a closer up look on these guys. Uh, Primal, as I said, he's nicely textured. I really like the... And Rat Trap is too, but he's so small. It's... And uh, there's also these little guns here that you can have out. Uh, I, I, for whatever reason, just don't like... Because they can just hang over his shoulders. I don't care for that. Another thing is uh, he has these guns that are in his arms and i think that's kind of cool he has guns still despite having weapons of swords 
So we take a look at him. He has, I, I just, I, 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 how do I put this? The kingdom line just looks so good. And uh, now he is pain to transform just out of torso part. Everything else is pretty much snap it together and uh, good to go. Um, <laughs> move the butt flap. Um, the problem is like, you have to pull his arms apart and you have to kind of hold them to get his head out. Now, initially it was so difficult that I couldn't do it, but uh, once you get it and the piece isn't so stiff, it should be good to go. So of course you flip the chest and uh, you pull the head up and it does this rotation. Now the head needs to be stored backwards, but uh, once you get it out, you can just rotate it, put it downwards and you can put it back into place. There you go. Now, for the bottom, you have to flip so this uh, back piece becomes his front piece. And then I show you his feet do this thing, which I think is pretty cool looking. And he still stands up, so it's, it's spectacular. <clears throat> and then you pull this piece down and you rotate it. Now, you're supposed to like, kind of tweak how he stands to give him more of a, a primate feel. Um, that's up to you. Uh, I, although I am going to show you real quick if I can get him out. Let me flip this back for a sec. See, these guns are just in there when you put them away. And you got to pull the head out to get access to them. And uh, the reason why I don't use them is because they look kind of just unnatural. And yeah, I get it. It was originally on the character design. But you're basically putting a, a uh, gorilla with guns on his shoulders. And uh, it just, uh, it, it, you know, even in his robot form, it just doesn't feel right to have these here. Now, of course, you can put blast effects on them if you want to. Uh, but uh, I digress. So I'm going to just put them back. Anyway, snap pieces in together, and uh, here is Optimus Primal in his ape form. Again, you don't have to pose him the way they, they say. Um, now, I, one thing while I'm thinking about it is this thing has a clip here, and that's for attaching it here, but there is no other, like, you're just basically covering up parts is what you're doing when you are doing the ape forms. It's just, um, there's really nothing this attaches to it just kind of covers it so if you're worried about that don't be worried it's just covering and here is rat trap he is tiny uh, I worry about first let me take his gun off I worry about breaking him uh, everything is pretty much ball joints and uh, that makes him a little bit delicate, but his transformation, once you figure it out, isn't too complicated. So you can pull his arms up and uh, they lock in here, but you have to twist the top joint. And uh, again, I, like, I'm so afraid to break it that uh, I'm super careful about it because they lock into here and at least for me it's an audible snap if I can get it in there we go there we go so once you got those done you can pull off this back piece here flip the tail around so you already see we got most of the uh, what is this um, a shell former more or less <laughs> which is funny um, but um, it is true. Keep his legs up here. Just move him out of the way. So what happens is you want to pull this back off a little bit. And it'll rock out. As you see, here's the joint. And uh, you, it'll come apart. As you see, there's now distance. And you'll know you're far enough if you can get the arms to fold underneath because they'll fill in the space. I'm apparently not there yet. Yep, there we go. 
But uh, before you do tuck them in, it might be wise to turn Rat Trap's head 180 degrees. And there's uh, ratchets on, on this one. I, I don't know if it's common for everybody. I've noticed there's some QA inconsistencies for some people. Uh, so sometimes you get ratchets, sometimes you don't. But as you see, you turn his head because you don't want his face sticking up out of his back of his head. So now I should, yep, there we go. I had enough space now I could put the arms back and they kind of just hang here. And it looks weird, but once we put the back down, make sure everything's the right way, uh, they pretty much stay out of the way. Now I kind of wish there was a place for them to uh, do better for attaching. I and mean, they have these little clips here, but uh, I never seem to get, I mean, if they're meant to go there, they just don't work for me. But uh, once you have that, there's these little slits here to go into these bits here. And if you do it on both sides, it's supposed to keep the legs in check. Now, the uh, knees are double jointed and uh, it's supposed to move the knees in such a way where the feet can the you know, the feet and the legs can face the opposite direction so they can be placed in the joint here and it's a little bit of a pain and then you also have to turn the feet once you get it into place And they're supposed to clip in, but mine doesn't. So, you know, be aware of that. Oops, there we go. So. So here's Rat Trap. Now, uh, supposedly you can mount his gun on him, uh, like in the joints of the legs or wherever, or, you know, this piece here, um, depending on which way you want it to go, I guess. I've never been able to get it in. <clears throat> That's what she said. Uh, but supposedly you can. But uh, who's ever seen a rat you know, wield a weapon? But uh, let's take a little closer look at Rat Trap. And he is, he's a delicate balance of just smallness. And he's, I have popped multiple joints out. Uh, luckily, they reattach easily enough. But... Uh, he, he's, he's fragile. So that is Transformers Warfare Cybertron Kingdom Optimus Primal and Rat Trap. Tell me what you thought about them in the comments. Uh, do you have them when you transform Rat Trap? Does his pieces fall off for you? Let me know. And thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledgenet and our website at hasledge.net.